I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is when I felt like it read, which is timeless. Well, they can say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, you guys, we're going to do the runes. <laughs> okay? So, <clears throat> got you off guard. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, there's a timeless reading, you know, runes, when you see it is when it's meant for you. If you enjoy it, I enjoy the runes. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to find out what the runes have to say today for the collective, okay? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and see what we got in here. My little bag of tricks. There's one. We're going to get five, right? Oh, look. It shows up good. Two. I was worried how the lighting was going to be. All right. Here's three. I don't got the fancy setup, you guys. Sorry. Here is four. And then finally, the fifth one, right? <clears throat> ah! Kind of slipped my, through my fingers. Okay. So now we're going to pick three of the animal totems. Yeah, here's the first one. Ooh. Can barely see that one. Here's the second one. Okay. And it's funny because you guys are, this is my left and this is my right. So I don't know how it's coming out for you guys. You know what I'm saying? It comes out weird. Oh, and I did another video the other day. It's kind of upside down, but you know, it's a good reading. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it over or nothing like that. If anything, just just uh, <laughs> put it on rotate and put it on a table, and then you can like turn it to see <laughs> if you have to. Usually, me, I just listen to the readings anyway. So, oh, we still have to get an energy stone uh, for the entire reading, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. And I have the boggles. Where are they? Okay, how those boggles? I'm gonna put them like right here because I might forget. <laughs> or I don't want to forget them because sometimes I forget those. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and see what the overview of the reading is, right? See what's going on here. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So you guys can see really well. It's the like uh, the little Jesus fish in reverse, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's what that is. Uh, it's the separation um, rune, though, for sure, right? So that's telling me right there that uh, there will be no more separation. Separation is coming to an end. This right here, that's separation. But because it's in the reverse, that means somebody's getting back together. That's odd. I there's a car that's kind of close by. They're playing. They're kind of blasting Spanish music, Mexican music. I never hear that here. I haven't seen. You know. <laughs> so hey, you know what? That might resonate. Latinos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's a good tune, too. I can't hear it very well. Da, na, 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 na. I don't know the song, you guys, so I can't hear it well enough to, to, to give you words. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and find out what uh, the challenge here is, okay? At least it got a nice little beat in the background, right? All right. So with the challenge here is, um, you know, joy. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> the song, you guys. It's really, it's really catching me. <laughs> we have joy here. It's in the upright, you guys. 
So what is the problem here? Why can't somebody have joy? Why is that a challenge? Oh, okay. I'm getting somebody may feel like they don't deserve it. You know what, you guys? This is the jam. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, never feel like you don't deserve it. I don't even mind that that music's playing, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, never feel like you don't deserve to have joy. When we are, when we're born, we're not born to suffer. I swear we are born to be happy, have joy and harmony and peace in our life. Not like hate and ego and yeah, no, we're not supposed to have that, but we do. We do. We've got all those evils around, but you know. The best we can do is, you know, find joy and peace and happiness in our life. Why is it a challenge? Maybe you're in a situ maybe somebody here is in a situation where someone just doesn't allow them to have that. Controlling people, people controlling. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, if you're in a relationship and you can't do all the fun stuff you like to do or your ideas suck to everyone, you know, there's no joy there. So maybe that's why it's a challenge because everyone you're around doesn't allow you to, to experience joy. You know what I'm saying? That sucks. Okay. I, you know, all I know is like, if I get the, the slightest, weirdest negative feeling from anybody, I cut them out right away before I used to, I didn't used to do that. I used to be like, oh, I did, I did, it's like I didn't follow my intuition, you know, and who knows if my intuition is right nowadays or not, but I swear to God, if I feel some sort of weirdness inside, I'm out. I don't even, because I don't have to deal with those people, so why bother, you know? I don't have to, so I just mosey along my own merry way, and I go find my joy elsewhere. Somebody needs to, you know... Somebody needs to separate from people, places, and things that do not bring them joy. It's plain and simple. That's it, and that's all. I mean, what is what what is the other alternative? <laughs> all right, there's none. It's just so easy. Separate yourself from people, places, and things that do not allow you to be happy or joyful. Or whatever. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. What action are you going to take here? Ooh. It kind of, you know, for a second there, it kind of looked like, a, well, it kind of does. And I guess it would, you know, kind of be. This is the constraint stone. And I was going to say it kind of looks like, looked like a cross to me. And yes, of course, Jesus was on the cross. He was constrained to the cross. You know, I don't know the, the, I mean, I saw the movie, you guys, that was a great movie. So sad to see Jesus hang on the cross. They picked a fine ass Jesus for that movie. I, you know, and that's not a good idea <laughs> because I was sad because they were, the guy was so fine. And they, anyhow, it was a nice movie though. Okay. And so what I'm saying is somebody, the, the action taken is constraint. So somebody right now is holding themselves back, okay? They're holding themselves from this, back from this joy, right? But what is the overview of this entire thing is to not have the separation anymore, right? So let's see, let's see what's here. Okay, this is gateway, you guys, and the gateway is closed. That's why... <clears throat> that's why there is a constraint right now right the sacrifice here this is sacrifice position sorry i forgot to say this is sacrifice position so the sacrifice is they have to um they have to wait until the gateway is open now i'm getting something you know spiritually okay so just don't trip if it resonates it good if not then whatever you know <clears throat> what I'm trying to say here is the gateway is closed for a reason. The sacrifice needs to be made by you 
right? The gateway will open when spirit, yes, yes, when spirit sees that you um, are doing the right thing. You know, that's what I'm saying, you know? That's why it's like you can't go out there and like, you know, uh, take a couple sack lunches to some homeless and take some pictures and post it on Facebook. Like, look, I did a good thing. No, that stuff does not count. It has to be something that is anonymous that only God or spirit or, or you know, the angels can only see. No one you know sees this. No one, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a but it's a gesture that out of your heart, right? Oh, uh, hold on. What's a garden now? Okay, sorry, you guys. <laughs> my neighbor, my camping neighbor. You know what? This is. <laughs> my God, look at this. He said he, he got some filet mignon. I didn't. You see how, you know, this is the camping life, you guys. <laughs> It's all hot right now and juicy. Oh, it smells so good too. <sighs> Sometimes I like the camping life more than when I had my house. You know. Well, you know, I, I kind of do. This gateway of travel has been opened for me. Uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, I feel like things go are going well for me because I like what I'm doing and I like to be out here and I like to bring smiles to people's faces and I like to uh, speak to others and you know I don't talk about tarot stuff with with people that I meet out I talk about things of positivity you know and trying to I try to bring love and light I straight up tell people that too I'm like I try to be bring love and light I tell them that some people know what that means and some people they've never heard that and they're like, oh, how nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's really what I'm doing out here, you know, as I travel, you know, I mean, I have a goal and everything, but while I'm out here, hey, what is, might as well, I'm just seeing 1222, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> might as well make others happy, you know, like, and you know, a lot of the times what's, what I do is uh, when I pray, uh, I'm just confessing, okay? When I pray, uh, I say stuff like, um, may ultimate abundance come to anyone who crosses my path. I say stuff like that, you know, like like anyone out there. And, and, and a lot of the times, I'll tell you what, I do, I approach, you know, or am approached by homeless or people who are, uh, have addictions and they want to chit chat and I'm like, I'm, the, I'm okay. I don't judge. And, and I'll, I will talk to all of them, but if they want to talk to me, they're going to have to hear the Mona lecture about, you know, being sober and, you know, trusting in spirit and just, you know, <laughs> and you know what? Most of them do and they're cool with it. So, you know, it's cool, whatever, you know, so back to the reading. A gateway is closed for someone until they can release. I feel like this constraint is themselves. The constraint is um, they have to lift the constraint, constraint on themselves. Because remember, this is in the uh, action position. So what action does this person need to take in order to have joy? Because it's a challenge. They need to lift the constraints they have. Mental constraints, I think. Because unless they're in jail or in shackles somewhere, they are mentally constraining themselves from, you know, moving forward. Now, and this is, has to do with the way they think, though right or the things they do in daily life you know i'm not saying everybody go run out there and do a secret good deed even though that's always nice um that's might be for a few everybody else might have some other deed that they must do whatever i don't know but you know like uh whatever you do you need to lift a constraint this constraint that you've been holding it could be it could be like the past life, uh, past childhood traumas, right? It could be the past childhood traumas. There's something from 
a childhood trauma that has kept you constrained from bringing joy to your life. That's what it, I knew it would come out eventually. Shit, man. <laughs> so that's why the gateway is not opening it for you. And I don't feel like, oh, it's never going to be. If you work on yourself and try to and try to put effort into figuring out why you do certain things, why, you know, you get angry so easily, why, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, if you find out those kind of things, spirit will notice that you're putting the work in, right? Because it's spirit that opens this gateway. It, it really is. Once spirit feels like you're doing the right way, the gateway will be open. And I'm looking at the screen and I'll tell you what, everything is backwards on there right now. Okay. Everything on the screen right now is backwards. So you might be looking at this as it's closed, but on my side, this is right and this is left, right? I just want to tell you that because that's a lot of the ways how I can read the stones too, to figure out whether they're, uh, reverse or upright you know what i'm saying so i just want to remind you and it kind of sucks that it does that but i don't know i'm not a camera genius i don't know how to do that but at least i can give you the reading okay <clears throat> all right um dude the dog is guarding uh guarding this piece of bacon i gave him this morning like this morning he's guarding he gets pissed if anybody walks by him <laughs> my doggy okay he's so cute all right, so like I said, this was in the reverse. So somebody needs to, so this will happen. The separation will end. You guys are gonna get back together. Listen, we're gonna get back together, don't trip. But you need to do this first. You need to do that first. Come on, man, You're taking a long time. Try to fix, okay, I'm gonna give some suggestions. This is what I did when I was trying to figure out my own traumas, because I felt like that was kind of important to me not for the journey not for anything not for whatever just for me myself right um i watched things like those ted talks about childhood traumas i watched things about childhood molestation uh teenage rape all the things that i've been through in my life and yes i don't fear talking about it okay because it's better to talk about it to get over it right and i've been through a lot of bullshit all right so I just kind of looked stuff up about things and how I remember, or, or even about parents, you know, about siblings. I, I was just like a vacuum. I needed to find shit out. That's one way that I did uh, some of my healing, okay? If you're wondering, if someone out there is wondering, I watched the TED Talks, I watched Psych2Go videos. Um, I also listened to a lot of stoic quote videos because a lot of things that the stoic quotes in there, they make you realize things about, and, and those things, those relieved my stresses because a lot of the times I figured out that I was stressing on shit that did not matter and I was overdoing it and I was raising my blood pressure. I, like I was healing myself, you guys, with these videos, with these thoughts, with these concepts. Another thing I did was I like nature. It's not going to be like this for everybody, but I go into nature. I like secluded areas and I like to speak to God openly. And I'm not talking about that weird tongue stuff. That blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the hell that is. That's some made up shit. I don't believe it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. But if I'm going to speak to God, I'm going to speak to him in the words that I'm, I speak. You know what I'm saying? I, why, why do that stuff? You know? That's just straight weird. The reason why I say that, I was traumatized as a child with that uh, at a camp. So I've been through that also, traumas of that. Anyhow, <laughs> for a child that has no uh, knowledge of religion, seeing that for the first time, Mom, pick me up, please. You know, it's like, it's scary over here. You know, that's, that's how it was. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. Enough of me and my stories, you know, I got some goofy stories, but there's the, my stories and I, and I did try to figure stuff out based on stuff that I experienced. So if you are trying to figure out, you know, stuff about yourself and your own healing, you know, um, 
that's the best way that's a play, way to start those are a couple ways to start and also a uh, one important thing is if you are going to like speak to spirit or your ancestors you know Do you actually believe that they're there around you? Because there's people that they, they say things and they, oh, God, this, that, and the other, and then they go to church on Sundays, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, why just on Sundays, you know? Do you actually believe that who you're speaking to when you speak out to the universe, to spirit, to God, angels, ancestors, whoever it is that you, do you believe that they are there listening to you? I do, 100%. I freaking 100% I like I have absolutely no doubt because there's little things that they do and I don't mean to sound weird because I know I do there's little things that they do to show me that they're there and it's natural stuff that's why I love the nature too because oh man the messages I can get out here in nature are crazy okay yeah, okay, um, you guys are probably sitting there thinking, oh, she's nuts. It's okay. I don't, it's okay. I don't mind if you guys think that. It's, it, it is what it is, okay? Anyhow, we're just going to keep going here <laughs> before I, before everybody thinks I'm a total nut. <laughs> so, um, I really do catch a lot of messages out in nature, though, you guys. And I do try to bring it, bring that energy into here, okay? So we made it to the fourth stone, which is a sacrifice, which is spirit not allowing you to go through the gateway because you need to lift a constraint on yourself. And this could also be people. It doesn't have to be a mental. It can be people around you who are constraining you from finding joy. But I'll tell you what, the separation is over. It's done. You got to hurry up, man. We waiting. Well, I'm waiting. And the dog's waiting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see who is involved here. Here is somebody. Look. <laughs> it's because I know what it is already, you know. This is the uh, steer skull. Silent testimony. Okay. All right. I get it. You're keeping it a secret. It's okay. It's okay. I would, I prefer that. Okay. I'm sorry. I prefer that whoever this is right here, just keep it a secret that you work on yourself because yes, there are even people out there who will try to sabotage your healing. They'll try to sabotage the success that you've done in, in your healing. Swear you guys, I got a quick little tiny story. Okay. <laughs> so I, when I started my travels, you guys, I went to, uh, it was Alabama. Okay. I can't remember this lake. I went to uh, Seneca, Se Seneca Lake or something like that. And I went camping there, right? And I had met some locals, I guess. They, you know, they had some missing teeth kind of people. Chick was walking around with a machete and how sounded country, whatever. And we're chit-chatting, and I had mentioned to them that, you know, I was drug-free and all that, didn't drink, whatever, and, you know, because I am a, a uh, in the past, I was a drug user, the crystal user, and so I had told them that I had been sober for, like, already now. Um, it had been, what was it? It was, like, eight or nine months or something like that. I was really good progress. But I did it cold turkey, and I just didn't, you know, turn back. And so I was chatting. Everything was cool. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back to my camp. And I went back with a dog. I'm going to kick back there. And then they hung out, whatever they did over them, wherever they were. And they were driving out because they were leaving themselves. And um, she's like, all right, we're leaving. Nice to talk to you. And she came rolling up her hand out the window with something in her hand, right? She's like, here, girl. And I opened my hand. And she she dropped something in it, and I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck is it?" I looked at it. What the fuck? It was it was fucking meth, dude. After I just got done telling her, I was like nine months sober and everything was cool. cool. It was I was so shocked by somebody that that is straight sabotaging. You know, a stranger will sabotage you even. And I just went bloop and I, it, the floor was all grass and, and dirt. And I just ground it with my shoe. And I said, you just wasted the, your dope on somebody who just does not do that anymore. You know, and she just took off. 
you know. That though, even though that was so shocking that that happened to me, I was so freaking proud of myself. I had no feeling or inkling to even do that, to even save it or keep it or anything. And that was like, I think after that, like all of my, or not all of them, but a lot of the issues I had going on were just like eliminated somehow. And I think it was by spirit. I wasn't having any bad luck bouts anymore. You know, a lot of the stuff that w that happens to us, like, oh, damn, it was just bad luck. No, it was karma, kind of, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what happened. And, um, you know, I, I have been doing well and I just... I've been sticking to my plans and being good, being good to myself, being good to others, uh, trying to help anyone I can along the way on the journey, which is, you know, also here on YouTube, trying to share the videos with you guys. So, yeah, you know, so, yeah. So, I see this person is trying to do this quietly and um, okay, and I can respect and appreciate that. Uh, yeah, just keep doing it quietly because like I said, dude, people will try to sabotage your healing and your healthiness because they're mad they're not doing it you know it's like you know so yeah okay i understand this all right so now this person here yeah it's the lizard you know <clears throat> and the lizard is about um what do you call it caution and regeneration right this person here they're gonna be cautious when somebody comes around now it's probably that person you know but they're gonna be cautious when this person comes around because they're not gonna know if that person has changed or healed or lifted those constraints right but I will give a hint to this person if you're watching if this person is able to approach you that means that the gateway has been opened and you will you are allowed to go this way okay but because it's closed you know neither well this one can go this way if they want but that's like backtracking towards negative energy and actions and activities right this one is in this negative action activity place you know and they're not allowed to go here because this is a place that's regeneration. This, these people over here, they are cautious with what they do. They regenerate themselves, their lives. They create good life for themselves for the better. You know, the lizard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Babe, I need space. Babe, watcha? Watcha, baby? Mama. Ah, the doggy. It's in my space, man. <laughs> you leaving a little space with the dog. All right, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? So over here is the healing, healthy, good, you know, good forward movement place. Over here, this is the darkness and the depths of the, you know, dark land, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? So somebody, you know, and we're all there, I mean, you know, dark night of the soul, this person, ooh, yeah, that's probably what it is like, dark night of the soul, someone's over in dark land, going through dark night of the soul to lift these constraints to, so they can finally have joy in their life and close off this separation they've had with somebody because they want to get to someone. But you got to do the work, man. Spirit's not going to let you come, you know. I think you can do it, though. Yeah, you have to put in effort, though. If you love me, you will do it right kind of like if you love me you'll come over here to the state or whatever ah <laughs> something like that you know if you love me you will heal anyways and it's not even like it's not even like um a bad trade-off because it's a win-win right if you heal then your life improves your health improves you live longer you prosper right you know, and maybe if you move away from all these terrible darkness, you move towards, you know, a more lighter, happier side of town where people are love and light and giving and they don't deceive each other. You know, if you want to get over here, then, you know. And if you get over here, that's another win. 
Because this is all lie, cheat, th thievery, deception. This is the dark side of town, dark land. And this is light land. People like to go to light land. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out what this is. Look at that. Los coyotes, right? The coyote. Humor and adaptability. So... The energy, the totem energy of this entire reading is maybe somebody's going to come in with a light, humorous uh, attitude and they are going to try to uh, adapt uh, instead of having an, an attitude of negativity or just like bad moods. They're going to just say, you know what, I'm just going to make the best of this. I'm going to go check this out. And whatever happens, you know, I'm just going to laugh at it. It's not any, you know, anything that I can't solve in my arena. Whatever. I don't even know what I said, but, you know, whatever that means, you know, whatever somebody might be saying to that effect. Right? So somebody's like, I'm just going to, you know, so this person might end up healing secretly, taking off and saying, just, I'm just going to fucking see. <laughs> I'm just going to see. I'm just going to handle it with humor. I'm going to try to keep the energy light and happy, even if, you know, even if I do have to reveal some truths or whatever, I'm still going to try to keep it light and, you know, the mood's good. Optimistic. That word just came to mind. And that's not a word that I think of all the time. I just, I don't know. Well, that's nice. If this person can lift the constraint. Because I'm telling you what, spirit's not going to let them through. Spirit's not going to let you through if you don't make that change. I'm sorry. And this person, look, they're not even facing you. They're not. They're like going to, they're ready. They're on their way. They're on their way, leaving, leaving, leaving. And you're going to miss them. And they're going to be gone. I'm telling that to the steer skull guy or girl. If you don't make those changes, you're going to miss your little lizard. Mm -hmm. This is what the new situation is going to be like. This is the new situation. You're going to have to go on a journey. After you get through this gateway, if you get, if spirit eventually opens it for you, you're going on a journey. Mm -hmm. So you might end up lifting the constraint here. Because part of you, the journey that you're on right now, whoever you are, you may not even know you're on a journey, but you are. You are, dude. <laughs> Surprise! This is part of the journey. You have to list the first step. Maybe, maybe first, or maybe it's, it's second, third, or fourth, or fifth step. You don't know because you don't know what you've already gone through that you've had to heal from. But this time around, spirit needs you to lift some sort of constraint. So there's something that somebody has embedded in your mind since childhood that you are not allowed to do something. And that's a constraint, right? You can't do certain things, right? Somebody has embedded that into your mind. Whatever that is, that's what spirit wants you to break. Somebody could have, it could be anything, man. You're not going to be anything but a criminal. No. You're not going to ever make uh, money. No. Honestly. No. You're never going to find true love. No. Whatever it is. Whatever. But it could be anything, you guys. You're never going to amount to anything. No. Those are all wrong. Like I said from childhood, one little thing a parent can say one time, just one time to a child can affect them from their whole life. Yes, you guys, it's fucking nuts. Anyhow, whatever this is, you are going to, you're, the gateway will open eventually. You are going to be able to go through. This person is going to be super cautious with you because they may remember you as somebody from before who was not very good. So this person is going to be very cautious, but I do see a regeneration here. The relationship will be regenerated with caution. And you are going to be continuing. Yeah, both of you, 
both of you are going to be continuing the journey together because even though this one may be ahead they're still not done either the journey goes on until we die but the journey can go into an up, upward wonderful spiral or it can go into a downward dark spiral and it all depends on how you live your life though right i'm trying to make my life go into an upward spiral you guys so that's the energies that I would like. And I and that's the energy that this person also likes. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody planned to say, I want to be a criminal. I want to go to jail. I want to do prison. I want to be in a gang. Nobody's born saying that. Hell no. But you know what? If you have no choice and things have happened in the life, in the, you know, you know, the events of your life, you know? Yeah. What else to oh the boggles <laughs> before i forget i can't believe we're at 35 minutes i guess i was yapping a lot sorry you guys all right i just I, you know i think i have some examples right okay i'm gonna pull out some boggles whatever letters you guys can see that's what it is okay i'm not doing it from my angle okay so what is it sst right sst Okay, you can only see Y and T, so that's what you're. we're going to stick with. Okay. <laughs> I have to look at the camera. Sorry. Okay, we have... What is that? S, U... Can you... I'm going to... There you go. S, U, N. Okay. Oh, hi, by the way. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and then here's another one, final. Right? What is that one? Okay, that one is... H E. Okay, we only see H E, so that's what we're gonna leave it at. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that one. Okay, so one of them we have S U N T Y, and then S T T or S S S T. Okay, guys, so that could be somebody's first, middle, last initial. Um, maybe you can spell a word, or even shoot, spell out a sentence, right? But that's all I have for you guys today. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, you guys. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful, right? Yeah. I'm Mona. This is Classical Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.